this is fifth standard max chapter name is factors and multiples now exercise 3.4 the hcf and lcm of two numbers are 48 and 288 respectively one of the number is 144 find the other number so here in this question what information is given that we have to write first the HCF and LCM of number are 48 and 288 respectively. So HCF is 48, it is given in the question 48 and 288 LCM, 288 LCM. One of the number is 144, one of the number, uh, number that be, let be X, it is 144, one of the number let that be X, the other number be Y that we have to find. According to the property, dear children, according to the property, the numbers are interrelated. Uh, the numbers, given numbers, the product of this number, 10 into 15 is 150. And product of HCF and LCM also same number, 150 only. So there is a property. The product of two numbers is equal to the product of, product of the HCF and LCM. So it means HCF, HCF into LCM is equal to X into Y. Now here product of HCF and LCM for HCF is 48 into LCM is 280. So after multiplying uh, 48 into 280 answer is 13824. It is equal to X into Y. There is a property HCF into LCM equal the product of two given number. So x is given 144 into y we have to find. So it means okay it is given hcf into lcm equal uh, hcf into lcm that is a uh, product. Product of hcf and lcm is equal to product of given number. The answer should be same. Here 13,824 means here should be here also after multiplying these two number we have to get 13,824. It means product of any two number is equal to 13,824. So y equal 13,824 divided x we have to x is given no x value is 144. 144 into y equal 13,824. Therefore, y equal 13,824 divided by 144. Okay. HCF into LCM value is same. That should be equal to the value is same similar to x into y value. This here also we have to get 13,824. That is a property. So, x into y equal 13,824. Y equal 13,824 divided by 144. After dividing, you get 96 is the answer. So, answer is 96. Then next question. The second one. The product of two number is 600. Their LCM is 60. Find the HCF. The product of two number means X into Y we can consider. The product of two number is x into y equal 600 that is given in the question there LCM is LCM is 60 find the HCF HCF equal question mark. We know that HCF into LCM is equal to x into y that is a property HCF into LCM is equal to x into y product of any two number. Now we have to find the HCF HCF means uh, product is given so HCF HCF into LCM, the product of two number is 600. No? So here also the product of HCF and LCM also same value 600. Then uh, LCM is given. So HCF equal H equal into L is how much LCM is 60 equal 600. We have to find the value of H, HCF. So H equal 600 into means it will become division. 600 by 60. 600 by 60 means 61 is 60, 61 is 10. Therefore, HCF equal, HCF equal 10. 10 is a value. Next is, find the largest number that divides 280 and 490 without leaving a remainder. So, here, Find the largest number that divide 12 into 20 without a remainder means here we are finding HCF of the greatest largest or greatest number means 
we have to find the hcf of the given number without reminder means uh, 12 and 20 directly hcf finding hcf and find the greatest number which divide 149 101 leaving a reminder 5 means we have to minus 149 minus 5 and 101 minus 5 reminder then we have to find the hcf when we have to find the largest or greatest number we have to find hcf of the given number so without a reminder means directly we can find the hcf with the reminder leaving a reminder of a particular number is given means we have to subtract the reminder with the given number then we have to find the hcf 149 minus 5 is 144 101 minus 96 is uh, 5 is 96 the hcf of the given number and the smallest number find the smallest number which when divide 44 55 leaves reminder 8 means we have to find the smallest number means we have to find the lcm reminder means we have to add after finding lcm we have to find the add the reminder if uh, without leaving reminder means we directly find the lcm that is the answer without reminder and that is the answer uh, leaving a reminder means we have to find the lcm and the answer is uh, with the answer we have to add the reminder so similar way similar example sum find the largest number that divide 280 and 490 without leaving a reminder means we have to find the hcf of hcf of highest common factor of 280 and 490 we have to find we can find together there is a easiest method 280 and 490 in which tables hcf means it should be divided with the same tables so better to take the prime number now find the hcf with the uh, 2 we can try with 2 2 ones are 2 2 fours are 8 0 2 twos are 4 2 fours are 8 1 carry 2 fives are 10 now 140 and 245 hcf means both the numbers should be divided with the same tables if it is not dividing one we have to consider 140 and 245 last number we have to check here last number is 0 and here one place is 5 so 0 or 5 means it will divide 5 ones are tables means we are dividing 140 245 with 5 divisor is 5 number now 5 twos are 10 4 is a reminder so together is 40 5 eights are 40 5 fours are 20 and 4 is a reminder together is 45 5 nines are 45 then which number we can try 7 okay 7 fours are 28 7 sevens are 49 now we have to multiply the only 2 into 5 into 7 because 4 and 7 it will not divide with the same table so we can't consider that 2 uh, 2 into 5 into 7 so 2 into 5 into 7 2 5s are 10 10 7s are 70 the answer is 70 okay with our greatest number means we have to find the hcf without leaving a reminder with leaving a reminder means we have to subtract the reminder first so here fourth question find the largest number that divide 232 and 157 leaving a reminder of 7 so largest number again here we have to find the hcf so first we have to subtract uh, 7 and with uh, 232 minus 7 and 157 minus 7. Subtract the value 232 minus 7 and 157 minus 7. 232 minus 7 means uh, 5 here, 2, 2, 225 here, 150. Now we have to find the HCF of highest, greatest number, no? greatest or largest. So HCF of largest number 225 and 150. Now we have to find 225 and 150. So HCF means both the numbers should be divided at a time. Uh, okay. Now last number is 5 here, 0. Last one's place number 5 has 0 means it divide with 5 ones are tables. 5 4s are 20, 2 remainder, 5 5s are 25, 5 3s are 15 and 0. And again here last number 5 one space here 0, so it means it divided 5 ones are tables, 5 9s are 45, 5 6s are 30. And 9 and 6 it will multiply with uh, 3 ones are tables or divide with 3 ones are tables, so we can divide with 3 ones are tables, 3 3s are 9, 3 2s are 6. And here we have to stop it because... 3 and 2 it will not divide with the same table so we have to stop it here 5 into 5 now 5 into 5 into 3 5 into 5 into 3 hcf 
you have to find the 5 into 5 means HCF means it should be divide both the number with the same table it is, now 3 and 2 is not um, in which tables both the number will divide 3 and 2 so only 1 so we have to stop it there okay now 5 5 is a 25 25 3 is a 75 75 is a answer Now here comes the smallest number. Smallest number means greatest number means HCF you have to find and uh, smallest number means NCM we have to find and depend upon the no remainder and remainder uh, there is also changes is that children. Find the smallest number which were, which when divided by 72 and 90 leaves no remainder. No remainder so we have to find smallest number means we have to find LCM of 72 and 90. Find the LCM of 72 and 90, it is a Bakasura till 1 we have to divide it. Okay, it is not necessary, both the numbers should be multiply or divide with the same tables. If any one number is divided with any one table, means we can uh, carry out the same number, other number uh, in uh, next line. Now, we have 2, 2 3 is a 6, 1 carry, 2 6 is a 12, 3 3 is a 9, 0. Then, uh, Sorry, 2 4 is a 8, 2 4 is a 8, 1 carry means 2 5 is a 10, 45. And 36 and 45, it will multiply, divide 3 ones are tables. 3 ones are 3, 3 2 is a 6, 3 ones are 3, comma, here also comma, because it is not a same number, different number. 3 ones are 3, 1 carry means 3 5 is a 15. Again, 2 all and 15 will multiply with 3 ones are tables, so we can try. 3 4 is a 12, 3 5 is a 15, 4 and 5 it will not multiply with the same tables but LCM, LCM means we want at last 1. So we can try 4 with 2 ones are tables, 2 2 is a 4 and 5 as it is because 5 it will not divide with 2 ones are tables, it will not multiply with 2 ones. Again uh, 2 will multiply with 2 ones are tables, 2 ones are 2, 5 as it is. And 5 will multiply with 5 ones are tables, 1 has it is 5 ones are 5. So till 1 we have to try, okay, till 1. Uh, remainder that uh, till there we have to divide it now LCM equal 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 2 into 5 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 2 into 5 now we have to multiply 2 3 is a 6 6 3 is a 18 total is after multiplying 360 is the answer so now next question sixth one find the smallest number which when divided by 39 52 and 65 leaves a remainder of 5 in each case so remainder come so we have to uh, find the LCM smallest number means we have to find the LCM only first find the LCM of the given number that is LCM of the given number LCM of 39 52 and 65 find the LCM 39 52 and 65 in which table it is not necessary all number should be divided with the same table so we can try with any number 13 ones are it will divide 7 13 3 is a 39 13 4 is a 52 13 5 is a 65 so HCF means we have to stop here only because all number are divided with the same tables and 3, 4, 5, it is not divided with the same table. But LCM means at last reminder we have to get 1. Till there we have to divide it. And 3, 3 will multiply with 3 ones are tables. 3 ones are 3. 4, it will not multiply with 3 ones are tables. Write as it is 4. Write 5 as it is. Again 4, we can consider 4 will multiply with 2 ones are tables or divide 1 ones are 1. 1 has it is sorry. 2, 2 is a 4. 5 has it is again 2 it will divide 2 ones are table 1 has it is 2 ones are 2 5 right has it is and 5 will multiply with 5 ones are tables 1 has it is 1 has it is 5 ones are 5 so LCM is 13 into 3 into 2 into 2 into 5 that we have to multiply 13 into 3 into 2 into 2 into 5 now after multiplying 13 into 3 into 2 into 2 into 5 13 into 3 check how much then that answer into 39 into 2 
that answer into 2 that answer into 5 or we can group it and then we can multiply so after multiplying everything you get 780 with 780 plus reminder plus reminder how much reminder is 5 780 plus reminder is 785 so answer is 785 this is the answer